Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to print the duplicate character from the strings. Okay. So we will be getting one string as an input and our responsibility is to check the character from the string how many times got repeated. If you see this input string called API Puthi, here P got repeated two times, okay, as well as I got repeated two times, okay. So this is our output, we are expecting this output, okay. Whereas if you see other characters are haven't got repeated. So our work is to only consider the repeated characters not the unique characters okay so let's create one method go saying that dot get repeated okay and here we are going to pass a string as a argument and accordingly we have to create the method here this is fine so we receive the user input here and our responsibility is to to secure this user input and have one log also saying that user input here we are going to pass user input which is local variable and we are going to run as a java application to make sure that we receive user input correctly and we are receiving api putty from user which is correct and expected so till now we are good position okay now if you see we are we got the string but we are basically looking into the character okay so our work is basically to get the duplicate character and respective how many times the character got repeated okay so we have the string from here we have to get the character array okay so the string class has one method called to char array which will which is responsible to convert the string from the char array okay so char array okay so we got the character array so this is array so we can have for loop to iterate the element from the characters array okay so if you print here what the value is coming is character array of zeroth position okay it's just an array only difference is it's a character types array if you print this one we will got to you know all the if you see a, a a a is coming so because of we kept here zero it should be i value should be dynamic right click run as java application if you see a p i p o t h i so we got the user input as a string and we converted this string into the character which is also fine so now we are able to convert the character from a string successfully so till now we are good okay so now our next task is to get the repeated characters okay so here for that we are going to use map basic property of map is it hold the value in key and value pairs whereas key is unique and value can be repeated also okay so first create the map object okay we will put generic letter map equal to new has map These are all utility class method and collections not collections not basically from the collections okay <clears throat> yeah 
so now question is what could be the generic we are going to write see here if you see the expected output p repeats two times okay i repeats two times so and this is the character and this is integer integer is getting increased it will be two maybe three also but this character i am just going to make as a unique the reason is p got repeated right so the for one p how many value so one i how many value so this p or this i will be remains one remains unique remains unique means i can kept this as a key also okay so so our key will be as a character okay and value as a integer fine so this is the generic we are going to define here so key is a character types which i don't want to get the repeated value whereas value can be repeated g numbers okay so that's why i made it as a integer now question is how to find the now how this map we are going to use okay so if you see we are going to write one check here saying that if map we know right map have key and value and to get the key we have one api call contains key okay i am telling if map contain key called character of i means value from the value from the character array okay if it is available equal to true okay so what i am asking is map is if in this map we got the value which is available in character array saying that true means map means this value is available in map so we are good so we got to know that okay this value is available into the map now what we will do is we will say that okay map dot then since it is available so we are going to insert now question is how we are going to insert it so first we already know that key we are going to put as a character okay here no confusion confusion will start only in value part how we are going to insert the value since this character of i we are assuming here is available in map since this is available so it is repeated and if it is repeated so number of occurrence should be increased increased by one okay till here we are good but we don't know the value of occurrence current occurrence right so this is the key and this is the value if with respect to to this key i can able to get the value then we are good so map dot get and here we are going to pass character of i okay as a value so we got see see the logic very carefully we are checking this character value is available in map or not if available then this is the key that is perfectly fine then the number of repetition we have to increase by one then what is the number of repetition number of repetition means this how what is the value with respect to this key for to get the value with respect to this key we have the get method in that get method we are passing key and we are getting total these things returning as a value now this is condition that value is available into map if not available then 
if not available then then there is no issue no map dot put we are going to say character of i repeat it only one times right if this is not available in map means this this event got repeated if this event got repeated then the value is one only if it is repeated then value will be more than one so for that reason we are increasing here plus one with the current value right now we are returning here void now we got the value in map right so we are going to change this void to map and we are going to return accordingly variable here right good so map we are returning so we can save this value into the map itself okay fine so now question is how to iterate the map iteration of map is little differ from the iteration of the other collections api like list and set so to iterate the map we are going to use here key set so we have the map object from the map object we have the method called key set which return the set of key set of key okay key is which type if you see key is a character types okay and we say key okay and we are going to import this as a util package now we got the key set of key now we are going to iterate this key how we are going to iterate using iterator we have many other way but i am using here simplest way so iterator this is the iterator interface where we are going to pass generic as a character and this is yours you can say something like itr just something like iterator it is iterator okay fine now we should have some while loop if this iterator has object then dot next is the value right so let's print here run as java application let's see what the value is coming p a t h i o that's fine i don't know what is getting printed i think probably this has op okay but we are not going to this is the key no so we are not going to worry about the key we want the key and value pair so what we will do is here is the key key in which types character types this is the set of key don't uh, wait set of key okay this is more understandable fine and this is your key key equal to which one itr dot next good now we got the key now our responsibility is to to get the value how to get the value we have the map object map object dot get method and we have to pass the key as a argument so this will give you the value and value is which type integer type okay so we got the value okay good so we can print here key plus just for debugging purpose later we will delete it value
ओके राइट क्लिक रन एज जॉब एप्लीकेशन लेट्स हैव सम एरो राइट क्लिक रन एज जॉब एप्लीकेशन यू सी कीज पी वैल्यू इज टू मींस पी रिपीटेड टू टाइम्स ए रिपीट वन टाइम्स वन टाइम्स आई रिपीटेड टू टाइम्स राइट सो we got the output now our responsibility is to format the output if you see here we are able to print the non repeated character also and that we don't need so what do you mean by non repeated and repeated how we are going to differentiate right so if value if we if this value is greater than 1 then we can say okay the character is really getting repeated right so for that now this sop we are going to print it here if you see here value is 1 1 1 which is non repeated and which value is greater than 1 is really got repeated our task is on to repeated character only not on non repeated key p value 2 now we have to format it little character say here character means key repeat repeat okay okay repeat this one and times times of input string and what is our input input is this one okay let's run this java application and see whether we are able to do the character p repeat two times of input string api pothi do one thing character p do little space here only this space only matters okay now right click run as java application character p repeat two times of input string api pothi this is correct only right this is only our expected output okay so let me summarize you again we got the string from user and this string we received here as soon as we received we converted this string into the char array and we start iterating this char array here and we created one map object where we kept character type as a key and integer type as a value where we are inserting character into the key and if value is available in map, map then we are increasing the value of this character by 1 else we are just keeping as a 1 as a constant so, and at the end of day we are repeating map object so once we repeat map once we return the map object here we are printing the map object to print the map object we are just checking one condition whether value is greater than 1 or not means the really the value got repeated or not and for that for this we are just printing the key and value having some meaningful message okay so and which is our expected output also right yeah thanks for watching this video